Okay, TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Issue 2 is out now, the continuation of the long-running IDW series. Not a reboot, so many people told me that in the comments section that it was not a reboot, it's a continuation of the previous series. And I sort of caught myself up on the previous series, I watched a lot of videos from the Turtle Den recapping all the events so I'm sort of up to date, I know some of the major story threads that happened and I'll probably end up reading the old TMNT run later down the line. I know there's like a lot of like hardcover issues for me to collect and that's gonna that's gonna take a lot out of my pocket but uh, TMNT issue two so this issue was a Mikey focused issue and Mikey is up there with one of my favorite turtles and from what I remember hearing about in the final story arc there was this alternate reality or alternate future where Mikey had become this big superstar in Tokyo and here we see that with this issue where all the turtles have split up the brothers have gone their own separate ways for Reasons we're not entirely sure just yet, and we'll probably get an answer sometime next year because next month is Leo, the month after that is Donnie, and then after that we're going to have the reunion between all four Turtles. The Donnie one I'm interested in the most is along with the Leo one because Donnie was the pinnacle of the final story arc or the final issue with how most of it ended. So that might, that might have some answers with why everyone's all split up in this new run. But uh, this issue focusing Mikey, it was pretty heavy. I mean, I thought this issue would be all fun and games because it's Michelangelo. He's living it up in Tokyo. He's this, like, toku superstar in a way. He sort of does these... Uh, he's got his own tokusatsu show, you can say, where he's fighting giant monsters. Now, they're in rubber suits, of course, but even, like, that first opening page where you hear the theme song of Mikey's TV show... It is very uh, Kamen Rider, very Super Sentai-esque, where it's talking about how great Mikey is and what a great superhero he is, and that gave me vibes of the very first Kamen Rider opening. But although Mikey is a big superstar in Tokyo, it's one of those things where, although he's got the celebrity life, he misses the simple things like his brothers. And this issue goes from a complete 180 as it goes on, much like the other one, where you sort of get a mindset of Mikey, which I really enjoyed. You get the headspace of Mikey, where he feels like this life, although he likes it, he misses the simple things, because he's no longer chasing bugs down the street, or crooks down the street. They all are like wanting his autograph, or something like that. And he's just living a peaceful life, you could say, as a celebrity. So it's very different from his normal life that he used to have with his brothers. But much like Raph, he misses that life because he says, even though I could have this like five star like pizza made by the best chefs in Tokyo, it's the little things I miss, like enjoying the pizza with my brothers. And I, and I really enjoyed that moment that we had there. So one night, Mikey is lounging around and suddenly when he goes to eat a pizza, he thinks it's an old pizza, but he's been poisoned. And most of these pages is Mikey just getting the shit kicked out of him by what seems to be the Foot Clan they establish. I believe Raph shows up and says, this is the Foot Clan. So the Foot Clan is brought into this again, which the Foot Clan, from what I heard, uh, is the Foot Clan sort of settled down after Karai took over and they sort of tried sort of being less violent, you could say, but we're unsure when this takes place in the timeline because Raf shows up at the end. It looks like he's been on the run for a while as well. I mean, in the last issue, he did just escape prison, but there's no timeline really given within this issue. So is this before Raf was sent to prison? Does this explain why Raf got sent to prison? Or is this like right after the previous issue and we're sort of going to get this weird time jump between it? It's hard to say. It's really hard to say. But Mikey getting the crap kicked out of him, he's getting the shit kicked out of him. It's really bad to see because he's just getting thrown through all these walls. He's barely able to fight back because he's been drugged. And as he's getting the shit kicked out of him, he says, Oh, if only my brothers could see me now, I wonder what they would say. And as he's hallucinating, all his brothers are putting him down. They're calling him a loser, saying that he brought shame to the Hamato family because he decided to be the superstar TV ninja. 
And then eventually he snaps to his senses. And it's a really cool moment where he grabs these diamond encrusted nunchucks and starts kicking the crap out of his foot clan with the best work he can do. And like I said, the inner monologue of Mikey is really sad because, you know, he's the party dude, he's the carefree one. And you can sort of see all this guilt that he carries as well, where he doesn't like this life that he's living and he feels like that he can never live up to what his brothers wanted him to be or he feels like this life isn't the best for him or he can or he couldn't be the best ninja that his brother wanted him to be so you kind of have that inner monologue going on as he's trying to escape from this foot clan but the scene where Mikey grabs the diamond encrusted nunchucks is really freaking cool like it's like the artwork for this comic is really freaking great i really enjoy the artwork for this comic book series like the artwork has been like spot on really fantastic i freaking love it like i said this is the first turtles comic i am literally jumping into like right away like i haven't read like the original turtles run i haven't read anything before that i've only heard bits and pieces like when donnie had his shell cracked open and i watched a lot of turtles den for the lore of the previous comic book to understand all the story arcs and Holy shit, does that sound crazy with all the stuff that went on in that final story arc. I feel like there's a lot I need to read for myself to get a better understanding, but it's freaking crazy. But as Mikey fends off the Foot Clan, Raph soon shows up, and although Raph is here to help him, Mikey decides to throw down with him right away, and the two brothers are fighting. Or they begin to start fighting because Mikey does say like he was poisoned, he thought he was fighting his brothers, but when he comes to his senses and he sees that Raph is there, he begins fighting him. Now, Mikey also does have the mindset that his brothers did abandon him and they left him to his own devices, and while he was left to his own devices, he became like a ninja superstar. So, Mikey feels like his brothers abandoned him and I still want to find out why everyone went their own separate ways because we did get that ending for the original comic but now we've got this brand new series this, continu uh, this brand new continu continuation and I want to find out why these brothers went their separate ways but while the fight is going on you do have this chopper launching in the foot clan in there and so sort of scoping out the building and Whoever's giving the orders says the second Hamato brother has been sighted. Reinforcements arriving now. Orders from New York are clear. No turtle gets out alive. So whoever's in charge of the book clan here is sending out assassins after the turtle brothers. So I do wonder where that's going to go, especially with next month's issue or whenever the next issue drops. Because there was like two months between this issue and the last issue. But I wonder where that's going to go because that's going to be a Leo-focused story. So that's always going to be a lot of fun to read. But either way, I'm still enjoying this brand new Turtles comic. Like I said, this is my first Turtle comics I'm jumping into. And it has got me hooked with the storytelling it's telling for these brothers. And I'm definitely reading all the side content. I read Nightwatcher. Mutant Nation comes out next week, so we'll definitely be reading that. I didn't cover Nightwatcher on the channel. I said I was going to, but then again, I felt like there wasn't a lot to talk about with that issue because if you're not following like the Turtle War for the comics, then you're just going to be a little bit lost. And even though some people might be there for that, I feel like I might have confused a lot of people with me trying to describe everything going on. But Mutant Nation, I might look at covering, possibly. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see if I like it or not. I'll definitely talk about it. But this brand new Turtles run, I am freaking loving. And I can't wait to see where it's going to go next. I feel like, like I said, even though this is a continuation of an of a Turtles comic, it's a perfect jumping on point for new readers if you want to start reading Turtle comics, or just listen to me ramble on about it into the mic, whatever you want to do. But anyway guys, I'll see you guys later, peace out, take care, and bye, thank you for watching.